Hello and welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Let's listen to this book called Lions in a Flap, a book about feeling worried. Lion was always worrying. He worried about everything. He worried if he was late for school. He worried if he was early too. Lion even worried about getting all his sums right. And he was really good at sums. Lion always got in a flap when he worried. He felt hot and dizzy. His tummy quivered and his knees knocked. It was a horrid feeling. On Friday, Miss Bird had some exciting news. She said it was the big day out in two weeks. She said this year they were all going to Jungle Land and Mr. Croc was going to take them in the school minibus. Everyone clapped and cheered. Jungle Land was the best theme park in the jungle. Everyone was excited. Everyone, that is, except Lion. And he began to worry. All through football, Lion worried about the big day out. He worried about getting to Jungle Land. What if the minibus broke down? What if they couldn't get to Jungle Land at all? That would be dreadful. Lion got in such a flap that he let in lots of gold. On Monday, Lion worried that it might rain on the big day out. That would be no fun at all. And what if it rained so hard that Jungle Land flooded and had to close? That would be terrible. Lion got in such a flap that he knocked paint all over Hippo's picture. Monkey and Hippo were worried about Lion. They asked him if he was all right. But Lion did not tell them he was worried about the big day out. He was afraid they would laugh at him. The next day, Lion worried about the rides at Jungle Land. What if he was too small to go on them? Or too big? That would be awful. Lion got in such a flap that he knocked all the pencils and books onto the floor. Lion's in a flap, everyone said. Miss Bird took Lion outside to calm down. Miss Bird asked Lion what was wrong. He told her all his worries about the big day out. Miss Bird listened carefully. She told him that when she felt worried, she always took a deep breath. Lion took a deep breath. He felt a little better. Then Miss Bird told him to think about all the good things that might happen on the big day out, instead of all the bad things. Lion had a good think. He thought about the minibus. Mr. Croc looked after it very well. He always checked the tyres. He always checked the oil. The minibus might not break down at all. Lion felt much better. Then he thought about the weather. There were no clouds in the sky and it hadn't rained for weeks and weeks. It might not rain at all on the big day out. Jungle land might not flood and then it would stay open all day. Lion felt a lot better. Then Miss Bird told Lion that everyone gets worried sometimes. She said Lion could always talk about his worries with his friends. Lion said that Monk and Hippo were his best friends. Miss Bird said they would be very good friends to talk to if he felt worried again. Lion felt much, much better. On Friday, it was the big day out. The minibus did not break down at all. And it only rained in the afternoon when everyone was on the water ride. So it didn't matter anyway. Lion was a bit too big to go on the runaway train, but he didn't mind at all. He went on the roaring rocket instead, and that was even more fun. Then Miss Bird looked at her watch. She said there was just enough time for everyone to go on the big drop. The big drop was the highest, fastest and scariest ride in Jungle Land. Everyone was very excited, but Lion began to worry. What if the ride was too high and too fast? What if it was too scary? Worse still, what if he could not sit next to his friends? That would be really horrid. The lion remembered what Miss Bird had told him. He took a deep breath. He felt a bit better. He told Monkey and Hippo his worries. Monkey said the ride could not be too high, too fast or too scary because everyone was having lots of fun on it. Then Hippo said that they would all sit together so that lion felt nice and safe. Lion felt much better. The big drop was very high and very fast, and it was very scary. 
Lion felt hot and dizzy. His tummy quivered and his knees knocked. But Lion wasn't worried. He wasn't worried at all. He was having a brilliant time. The end. So, kids, it's okay to feel worried now and then. Remember, take a deep breath, breathe in, breathe out, relax, and always talk about your worries with those who are close to you. I'll see you soon in the next book. Bye for now. Music